So what if you were asked to serve with Mitt Romney. Well, again, I don't talk about that process, but, 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 but just going back to the general question, which I think it would be applicable to the question you've just asked, I think every decision I make is increasingly in my life uh, requires me to understand that I'm not in this alone anymore. And that's a tough thing. You know? And I don't think that's true just for politics, by the way. I think that's true for millions of Americans in the career choices they make. Do I take this promotion but have to move to another city? I have members of my family that have chosen to stay in Miami and not take a promotion that paid more money and move somewhere else. So I, I think as you as your kids get older, as they establish their own identities and their own activities, and there are repercussions to your decision that impacts not just you, but your entire family. And if you truly believe what I believe, that the most important job I have is the job of a husband and a father, then, uh, then those things have to be the first considerations in any decisions that I make. Yesterday, the largest Tea Party group announced you were its top choice as vice president. How much are you in agreement with Tea Party positions, which an awful lot of people see as extreme. Well, I think the, one of the most unfair things that's emerged in American politics over the last couple of years is this definition of the Tea Party as a outside the mainstream movement. The reality of it is that it, there's, there's diversity of opinion on issues within the Tea Party, by the way, particularly on foreign affairs. But by and large, what I have found is that the Tea Party movement, number one, is a movement. It's not an organization. It's a collection of Americans, not necessarily all Republicans. A lot of independent and independent-minded people who are upset at both political parties, upset at the fact that there are these major issues confronting America that are unaddressed, and upset at what they believe is government assuming a role that was never intended for government under the initial uh, uh, founding of our country. And it's found voice. I think that sentiment has always been there, but I think social media has made it possible for individuals to organize themselves along these lines in a way that wasn't possible 15 or 20 years ago. And I identify with those sentiments. I identify with a concern that America's government has gone beyond its constitutional mandate and it's had some negative repercussions. And I'm incredibly frustrated at the fact that I think both political parties are to blame for a lack of urgency on some of the major issues that we face. This notion that all these problems can wait until the next election to solve. There's always a next election. And so that can't be the criteria.